mean, that's just how we grew up. And, you know, so knowing how to cook, she goes over what pans to use, what pans to buy, what spatulas to use to get you the easiest way to cook the food because you can't cook this food like you normally cook, like right when you're starting to get hungry. You have to cook it before you're hungry. It's gonna take a little time to make, so the patience really comes in and being smarter than just reacting to your emotions. And with that cooking DVD, you guys, I'm sorry, I've learned more in that 20 minute, 30 minute thing than I've learned, no offense, but from my dear beloved mother. And I mean, it's something that for many of us that have grown up like that, grown up like that, I didn't even know what half of the things were on the shopping list. I Googled them, I didn't know what cotton picking sesame tahini was, I mean, whatever. So going through that, you learn so much, and my family thinks the food is amazing. So, I mean, there's lots of things I'm sure they'll say, but I don't know if they were going to pick that one out, but it's killer for those of you that aren't natural cooks, or those of you that grown up cooking like I had, and like I said, it requires salt and some butter, and then that's going to make everything better. Um, for me personally, I feel so much lighter. Um, I haven't really lost that much weight, probably between four and six. Not that I expected to lose 20, but I came in here today and some of the friends that see me the most are like, oh my gosh, you look so different. I'm like, do I? I mean, I feel different. Sleep's amazing. Instead of waking up groggy, like, oh, it's kind of just a natural awake. Okay, all right, first things first today. And you get to go at it, and I think that's been a humongous benefit. I don't know about you guys, I don't sleep so well, and that's a great way um, I think that it's benefited me. I mean, there's lots of things I could talk about, but those are the main ones, I think. Melissa. Yeah, the first three days for me were, my husband's here, he will attest, were terrible. I have an addiction to Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. <laughs> and the three days of getting off of that caffeine was was awful. But after those three days, it was, I, my world opened up. And I can't tell you how good you feel and how good food tastes. I mean, you can smell better, everything tastes better. You can, I swear I can see better. I can I see better. I swear Yeah, so in, in, in my group, I have Lindsay Matway in my group, Bombshell Dynasty. I saw you out there. Yeah, and um, she had mentioned that she um, had what she felt like were burnt bridges. And it was so funny because to be in that group together, and as soon as she posted that, it, it hit me so hard in the heart because I have, I have a burnt bridge as well, or at least what I felt was burnt. And you just, you feel so good and, and a little emotional. But you feel so good that it, it, when you have relationships that aren't the healthiest, you want to mend those because everything seems so right in your life when you're doing the cleanse. So to do the to do the reset with a bunch of people and to have somebody else, because I didn't want to mention it first, she did. And as soon as she did, I was like, wow, I feel that as well. Everything they tell you about the reset is true. I, I Isabel mentioned getting cramps. And I was like, I'm not going to get any cramps. I woke up one morning with the worst calf cramp. And I've never gotten that before. And on top of that, the first week, I slept through my alarm clock twice wow. because I was in such a deep state of sleep that I completely slept through it. Still woke up <laughs> on time, but I did sleep through it and I had never slept through it before, so that was just proof that I, am, that I was sleeping better and deeper than I ever had. And I certainly don't look at this as a weight loss and I had no intention of losing weight, but post Atlantis, I've lost 12 pounds since wow. doing the reset. Wow. You know, it's funny, there was one day, I think it was around day 12 or so, and I saw, because again, there's five or six groups that I'm, I'm, that I'm doing this with, and uh, like the same day in each group, people are like, I organized my sock drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I redid my closet. Like people are like cleaning up, and it's like, yeah, you're resetting everything. Like you just want to attack stuff and clean it out. Robert. Um, you know, it's kind of funny because whenever whenever they first start talking about the, the ultimate reset, and, and I sat and talked to Dr. Wheeler and, and everything and things that he was saying, and I heard some things going around. And, you know, I mean, I, I mean, let's be real. We're, we're a bunch of friends. I thought it was a bunch of crap. I mean, I, I really did. I mean, because I, I'm just on like 21 days and it's some cleanse, hoo ha, zen. I'm going to start, you know, levitating or something. But, uh, <laughs> but, but. But I said, you know what? First of all, number one, you're giving it to me for free. And I want to be the first to do something, always. And and you know what? It, it's a challenge. Whenever he came out and says, you know, like it's P90X for your insides, I was like, all right, you know, you just challenge me. And, you know, challenge me to do it. It's like, all right, I'll stand up to the challenge and I'll do it. And I will tell you guys, and you know, like I said, we're all friends, right? The first three to four days are complete hell. I mean, the fourth day I wanted to punch somebody in the face. Right. <laughs> 
I think it was me. <laughs> you were within arm's length. So, but after that fourth day, after that fourth day, man, because like the first one and two days, um, you know, headaches like big time. I mean, I had a caffeine addiction too. I was like twice a day E and E, which is great because I work out sometimes twice a day. Uh, in between, sorry, monster drink, diet ones sugar-free ones, but I drink those every once in a while because I was addicted to caffeine. I was like, if there's one thing I can kick, I didn't want to lose weight, but there, if there's one thing that I could kick, it would, I wanted it to be the caffeine. I just want to see if I could do it. So anyway, headaches like heck for the first two days. About third day, they went away. Fourth day, I wanted to kill somebody. Fifth day came, and it was like the, the clouds parted, and the sun shines, <laughs> and the birds were singing. <laughs> And I was regular. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, but, but it was awesome. It was like, it, it, it was like something changed. And, and, and man, it was, it was the coolest thing. And I had energy like I hadn't had before. Um, and that was on a Sunday. And Monday came around. And I'm like buzzing. I'm sleeping like a log, like, like she said. And I'm, when I wake up, I wake up. And while I'm still trying to do this to myself, where I'm like, I'm just going to lay here in bed for a little bit longer because I don't have to have an alarm clock anymore. And so I'm laying here, and I'm like, this is stupid. Just get out of bed. <laughs> because I got all this energy, and I'm ready to go. But um, so I know there are people in, in here because, guys, even as a, a, a beach body coach, and this is a beach body product, and I heavily believe in everything that we ever do, and thinking that this, this was something that I didn't believe in at first, Man, this is something you, you can absolutely believe in because it's legit, it's real, and in 21 days, I mean, we're still not done with 21 days, but it's something, man, that I can tell you has been probably one of the tougher things that I've ever done. I mean, I've done 23 rounds of P90X, I've done Insanity, I've done ins Asylum, I've done CrossFit stuff, I've done everything you can think of. This is probably one of the toughest things I've ever done, but honestly, it's probably one of the most rewarding things personally that I've ever done as well because it is a victory. And I challenge each, and just like they challenge me, I do challenge each and every one of you to do it because, I mean, there'll be something that, that opens up inside of you that you never thought would be possible. It's awesome. Well, you know, it's interesting, the, the, that idea of challenging yourself. And there was, you know, you had a hard time on the weekends because you were with your boys and the sports and you're, you're, you maintained your lifestyle. And so, you know, you weren't taking sort of having that Zen experience going off to a mountaintop to do your cleanse. You were, your life was still happening, but it's, it's like any challenge, any of our 90-day programs, you can quit at any time. But if you don't, you get that, you're entitled to that day 22 or that day 91 where you get to look back and go, I did that. And that feels good. I'm looking forward to it in two days. And it's something that to have conquered it, to have climbed this mountain and say, I ate those vegetables, I did it, I drank that green stuff every day. It's just really cool, and I know it's good for me. So, now Cody, how are you? Well, I'm gonna play a little bit on that. Even sitting back there when I was watching the reset, you know, some people might have seen that for the first time. I smiled because I'm almost done with that, and I can share that experience with, with everybody. Uh, I'm along with these guys. I was a coffee drinker, and uh, I was my first two days were awful. But you know what? Like Jimmy said, I let myself sleep. And ladies, take advantage of this. Your body is on a reset. Go get petties. Go get massages. <laughs> take care of yourself. Take a nap, Mama. It's okay. Um, we've had a lot of fun just kind of incorporating the reset in our lives. Uh, we went to skating parties, Cub Scout parties, Girl Scout parties, and cupcakes and pizza and all that stuff is there. But we had the discipline to say, you know what, we're in this. Even when I can get on my finger, I thought, oh, I can get this. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, but I would not. I would just go ahead and wipe it on my pants or wear a shirt and say no because I wanted to be in it for, you know, be in it. And so I, I definitely think it's been, um, I'm really glad that I got to tag along with these guys and, you know, it takes 21 days to form a habit, and I thought I was a healthy person, but I realized I, you know, I, I could be a better healthy person, so I'm definitely going to take some of these uh, new habits I learned and ditch the old ones and keep my new ones. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you don't have to keep this lifestyle for the rest of time. You, you're, you're seeing what you can do for 21 days, but, but 
I, I, I had that same experience where I'll be fixing my three-year-old's breakfast, right? Now he eats super healthy anyway, but I started to realize I probably had 200, 250 calories a day that were sneaking into my mouth that I was not aware of just because little habits that I'd be like, oh, you know, I cut his crusts off his bread. And I'd be like, get, oh, wait a minute. I'm not going to eat that. And, you know, if the food's on your kid's plate, it has no calories if you're just finishing it. <laughs> so, you know, there's, there's a lot of little times that I was like, you know, that same thing. Oh, what's the harm? And it's like, oh, you know what, I'm not going to do that. And you just find these habits. And you get control of your life because you kick the addiction and you're looking at your patterns. And now you do stuff out of choice. You can still choose to do it, but now you're not doing it out of uh, subconsciously or unconsciously. You're doing it out of choice. And that's a more powerful way to live. You know, my, our son had turned 11 and I purposely bought chocolate cupcakes with blue icing because I knew I wouldn't uh, eat those because I didn't want a blue mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. So... It is, um, she stole my line about the icing because I've so done that too, you know, just been like, that's not in the recipe book. But <laughs> some of the stuff is, is uh, like some of the other people have talked about, the recipes are really, really good. Like, and you never would expect them, but who knew I would like zucchini cashew soup, right? But it's awesome. It's really good. And, and it's, it's an amazing jump start to where, you know, I've, I've been kind of, him on back and forth with my fitness, more focused on the business, and now, man, when, when I get out of this, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get get ready and, and just, just tear this thing up. And, you know, they've got some well, screens going now, but, you know, you get success club points this month, right? If you get that on HD, and, and it counts as a coach point. If, if needed, you know, that counts as your coach point. And I really think that this is something where you might work, you might be a turbo gal or a P90X guy or something like that, and you can still kind of relate to somebody doing a different program. But this is something you really kind of need to be there, done that kind of thing. Or, or it, it's just not going to be something that you can, you can really uh, attest to. And it really has, um, really has kind of changed the way that, that I, I look at, look at a lot of things. And it's been a life-altering decision, uh, not decision, but a life-altering uh, Thing that I've done. Um, it's it's funny as I'm sitting there and, and briefing it, and you know I'm wearing this. A lot of us are wearing this little rope bracelet, um, and and it's just a mindset deal. Where like you know what? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna completely embrace this and and step outside of the mold and be that different person doing this. You know, and, and make the choices. We packed all of our lunches to all of them. everybody and their dog had a party. You know, Easter. Yeah. Mindy and I talked a lot about Easter, Easter you know. I mean, my cops, <laughs> you know, the cops on my ship, they're like, dude, what are you wearing a rope bracelet for? You look like you'd be banging the drum, you big hippie. You know? But I'm like, hey, I'm, doing a, I'm doing a reset. So, and, and they'll be doing it later, you know, if, if they want to. It's just, it's life-altering, and, and, you know, I'll, I'll do it again next year, you know. It's, I mean, it's, we're supposed to only do it about once a year anyway, right? Some people have already done it actually three times, uh, but, but, Isabel says two or three times. Um, if if it really gets traction, we might refine it so that it's a little bit different, so that there's a couple of different ways to do it at the spring and at the fall. But uh, hey, if if your if the other officers in your uh, force do it, please let me know around day three or five so that I don't drive through your town. <laughs>